Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today's topic is uses of alkenes. In my previous videos, I've told you about its properties, its physical and chemical reactions and it's now all about uses. So let's dive into the topic. Most important alkene is ethene. Ethene is two carbon compound having double bond in it. For the two carbons, we use the word eth and the double bond is representing by ene. So it's gonna be named as ethene. Ethene is used for artificial ripening of fruits. And what does the word ripening means? It means the fruits will become more soft and more colored. Okay? Fully nourished. Now, Whenever we put an unripened banana with the ripened apples, what gonna be happened? The ripened apples will release ethene and carbon dioxide. And that ethene and carbon dioxide will also ripen the unripened banana. Because ethene is a gas and it provides softness and more color to the food. Or to the fruits okay ethene is also used as an anesthetic now basically anesthetic is used to anesthetize a person anesthetize or anesthesia means temporary loss of sensation and awareness we used to do this mostly before operations so that the person will not able to feel lots of pain during surgeries okay now the second one is ethylene has all of the advantages of nitrous oxide and oxygen and gives greater relaxation avoids cyanosis what is cyanosis cyanosis is a disease in which the body has low oxygen bluishness of skin okay Bluishness in skin means that there is less oxygen present in the body. So, ethylene can avoid objectionable cyanosis. Ethene is also used for the manufacturing of polythene. And ethene is used as in making polythenes. What are polythenes? Polythenes is a plastic material used in packing toys or bags. Okay shopping bags in the simple way we used to say them shopping bags ethene is used as a starting material for compounds now starting material for the manufacture of large number of compounds such as ethylene oxide ethyl alcohol ethylene glycol diethyl ether and so many else Ethylene glycol is used as a fumigant. What is fumigant? Fumigant is a method of pest control that completely fills an area with gaseous pesticides to suffocate the pests. Number two, ethylene glycol is used as an antifreeze. Do you know what is antifreeze? Yes. You are right. An antifreeze is an additive which lowers the freezing point of water-based liquids. Diethyl ether and ethyl alcohol are used as solvents. So these are some uses of ethylene products. Mustard gas. Don't confuse with the name. It's not a mustard. And it's also not a gas. Mustard gas is used in wars. It's very poisonous and very toxic. It can cause blisters in the throat, in the lungs and over the whole body. So definitely it's quite, quite poisonous and used in wars as a weapon. At room temperature it is present in the form of liquid. It smells like mustard. That's why it is known as 
mustard gas. It's an organic compound having formula C4H8Cl2S and its IUPIC name is bis-2-chloroethyl sulfide. Its boiling point is 270 Celsius and its molar mass is 159.08 gram per mole. It's very toxic. Impure forms of the gas have an order that resembles that of mustard. And we prepared it by Deprit's method. A very important point to note. Mustard gas is synthesized by treating sulfur dichloride with ethylene. Mustard gas is used in chemical warfare, okay? Ethene is used in making plastic by the process of polymerization. Now, the polymerization is a process where ethene is converted to polythene through an addition reaction in the presence of catalyst. It's an exothermic process. It means heat will liberate out. Exo means out. Okay, exit. And thermic means heat. It requires high temperature and pressure. Many examples of polythene that are commonly found in household includes milk bottles, bins, microwave wraps. Now as we all know that plastic is not good for our environment, but we use it in lots of amount. Thank you so much. It's all about uses of alkenes. For more videos, keep watching. Have a great day. I will be grateful if you share it, like it and subscribe my channel for more informative videos.